I couldn't tell you for the life of me. Hey everyone, uh, today I wanted to talk about the topic of work. All of us have to work in order to make a living. Uh, well, there are a few people in our culture and society and world who have managed to find a way to not work and still are okay, but we generally all have the same opinion about those kinds of people. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about was the the tension I feel as I've entered into the workforce. Like many people, I went to college, got myself a degree, I got myself two degrees. I'm currently working on my master's degree. And so when I got out of college, you know, I expected to find work in, you know, either a church or whether in a school, because you know, I was qualified to, to work there now. At least, you know, I had a degree conferred upon me that said, that I was qualified to to work in those particular uh, areas, and so I got out of college, and you know I live in Michigan. For those of you who don't know, and like many people who live in the depressed economy of the United States, especially in the city of Michigan, in and around the city of Detroit, uh, the economy is even more depressed, and so it's very hard to find uh, gainful employment uh, once you get out of college. It's just the reality of things and so you end up taking a job that you don't like in order to make ends meet or you take a job that pays anything you're not gonna be able to make ends meet but more, some money is better than no money at all and that's the situation I find myself in now got out of college ended up uh, getting a job a job that uh, doesn't pay well doesn't give me good hours I'm working on average 15 hours a week I've got a lot of student debt uh, it's not going to help me pay that at all. By continuing to work this job, I will default on my student loans. Let's just, let's just be honest. Gas, insurance, um, you know, upkeep on the car, rent, uh, student loans, all these things unable to be paid for by the job that I'm currently working. And so uh, that's a major issue for a lot of people. They find themselves swimming in those particular waters once they get out of college. Now, that's not really the main tension for me, though. The main tension is the culture shock I was not prepared for. As I've said in previous uh, blogs, I really do appreciate education. If you cannot tell by the way that I speak, uh, or the topics that I've chosen to, to speak about, or the way that I speak about them, I'm a pretty educated guy. I'm a guy who has a certain measure of intelligence. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. There are people around who definitely make me feel dumb. But I'm educated to a degree that I feel like I can keep up with most people without feeling stupid by doing so. Either way, I have a particular pedigree, and yet now I find myself working in an industry where people, they don't disdain education, but they, they didn't desire one. Uh, and they're perfectly fine without it, and they're great people. But I wasn't prepared for the culture shock of having conversations with people about philosophy uh, by Plato and Aristotle, uh, and then working with people now whose philosophy largely comes from Kim Kardashian or Justin Bieber. Uh, that, for me, was a huge culture shock, not being able to have the kinds of conversations that I had in classroom settings with professors and uh, classmates and trying to synthesize ideas that I read uh, from one text uh, with another text and, and lecture notes and then the conversations I was having in and around the campus with friends and, and family members and things like that who were there. So those kinds of things stimulate my mind and now here I am in a situation where there is no stimulation of the mind uh, where I have a particular education and yet I find myself uh, serving food to suburbanites and I can't say where I work because I signed a contract saying you know I won't go online uh, talking badly about uh, where I work at least not specifically so but it's not a job that I like when I go in uh, I'm just exhausted when I go in there just the idea of walking in and, and working in this particular industry drives me insane knowing that I could be somewhere else uh, and then you know it's tiring work and you're not paid enough for doing it and so walking out I'm exhausted and it's just a bad situation all around I actually just went on a job interview uh, for a job that is not uh, quote-unquote beneath me 
Uh, and when I say beneath me, I mean that the job I'm working now is beneath me in the sense that I have qualifications to do something much, much different uh, and get paid much, much higher. So that's what I mean by it, not that the people who are there that I'm interacting with are beneath me somehow. But I've uh, recently put in an application, gone on uh, three interviews now for another company that would pay me well and I'd be able to make ends meet and pay down student debt, so that'd be great. But either way, I... I uh, one of the things I really wrestle with is being around people who have chosen not to uh, be educated. And they're not stupid by any means, uh, and so I don't say that I'm up here and they're down here, but uh, I would say that I'm right here and they're right here, and we're just thinking about two totally different things. I'm thinking of one thing over here and they're thinking of another thing over here. And so it's hard to have conversations uh, with the types of people that I work with. And so. Uh, I'm trying not to get puffed up and, and think that I'm better than anyone uh, because knowledge does puff up. I've got lots of head knowledge and so I can very easily walk around and think I'm ahead uh, above everybody else. But the fact of the matter is I have this great education and yet I'm working the same job as everybody else there. So that's got to say something. But either way, uh, I, I started thinking about this and, and started complaining to a lot of friends and they started challenging me saying, you know, Calvin, uh, yeah, this job might be beneath you, but maybe God has you there for a reason. You're not better than anyone else there. Um, maybe God has you to there to be around particular people for a particular reason. And maybe it is a, a means of humbling me because I do take a lot of pride in my education and maybe too much, maybe too much. And I don't think that, um, and I'm talking about a bad sense of pride. I mean, you can have a good sense of pride for the accomplishments that you've made. I deserve to think well of the education that I've received. But I, I look at scripture and I see Jesus hanging out with the tax collectors, the sinners, and the prostitutes. And you've got the religious elite, the guys who are educated, uh, beyond educated really. And, and they seem to miss the point. They seem to miss the fact that the Messiah is right in front of them. And so now I find myself working with people who lack education, they're not stupid, they just lack education, uh, and who enjoy working in food service and enjoy thinking about things that are much more earthy than I tend to. I tend to have my head in the clouds because I'm thinking about all these highfalutin philosophical uh, constructs and they're thinking about you know what's coming on TV that night when they get home. Uh, they're thinking about where they can get a drink at you know what bar to go to after work. And so I'm really wrestling now with the idea that maybe this is where God has me for a reason. Don't get me wrong, if I get the, the other job, I need more money, I will be out of the one that I'm currently in. But uh, there's something to the idea of being with people who are different than you. Uh, there is something to being around people and working alongside people who think completely different than you do and this whole thing was supposed to be about work but it's really ended up being about how do I interact with people who don't have the, the things that I do who don't value uh, the education that I value or you know, value the speech that I value a lot of them cuss a lot and I just I don't cuss a whole lot so uh, that's kind of you know jarring for me. Uh, at my school, there was no smoking on the campus, and to to know that people at work have to have smoke breaks, it's a little odd for me. So I'm trying to figure out how to be like Jesus, in a sense. How do I work with people who are different than me? How do I share the gospel with people who are probably more ripe to hear it than anyone else? People that I work with are like a family, probably even more so than uh, some of the best churches I've been a part of. Uh, yeah, they're rough around the edges, but they care about each other. They pick up the slack when somebody calls off and, or can't come in, um, and, and they don't complain a lot. Uh, it, it's really a good group of people, and I've been welcomed in, despite the fact that I tend to hold everybody else at, at arm's bay or arm's length. So that's kind of what I'm wrestling with right now. I'd love to know what you guys uh, think of all that. Uh, are any of you guys stuck in a job that you can't stand? Are you looking for more gainful employment? What lessons are you learning on the job? What is God kind of revealing to you through uh, the people who are in your life that uh, otherwise wouldn't be in your life if you didn't work with them? Uh, drop me a line at calvinemore at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at cejohnmore. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Also, you can leave a comment on the blog below.